in the humble hills of the avium savannah. You ain't a man until you settled up your first capybara. Howdy there, partner. My name's Woody Wild, and this is the Wild West. I've lived at the Locust Oasis my whole life, but now that our borders have opened, it's time for me to leave home and see the big white world. For the first time, Balamorians with a passport can enter Mistelin's borders, as well as a place called Port Serim that can take me over to Greater Corum by ship. Plus, I've heard of a land called the Wilds that nobody rules over, and that sounds just like home to me. I wonder if they have capybaras there too? I'm sure no harm will come in finding out. Hello again everyone and welcome back once again to the Wild West. I'm um, stood here in my graceful. I want to address a comment quickly from the previous video that suggested that I could not use the graceful until I've obtained the recolor from Valamore, which isn't out yet, but it is coming out in 15 days, so you know, it's only two weeks away. And I think I would I would agree with that under normal circumstances. I think it's a good idea. But given the fact that this is a League's rule set account and League's has infinite run energy, that's just making me want to, like, I remember how amazing it was in League's that I never had to make a single energy potion or a stamina or anything. And if I can simulate that at least somewhat by wearing Graceful, I think I'd rather just do it than worry about the energy potions and shit, because it's distracting from the rest of the gameplay then if I'm just constantly running out of energy rather than just flowing. So yeah, I think that's my feelings on it. I'm going to keep the graceful for now. It is just these two pieces at the minute. I'm not doing a lot of agility laps right now. And the only course that I have where I can get graceful ones that's any good is Varrock, which is meh. So, you know, I'm not planning to get more pieces anytime soon. For now, I'm, I'm going to stick with wearing these graceful still. But I will make it my priority to recolor them as soon as that content is available. And assuming that I am a high enough level for it, if not, I'll work my way towards it. And once the content's available, I'll stop using it until they're recolored. For now though, it's staying on. And today, I was looking through the diaries and I went through each of the different tiers and the medium diaries pretty much all require me to break my regions, which is unfortunate, but we're gonna have to do them when we get there because, well, medium diaries are just necessary. An example is wilderness. Half of the bosses in the wilderness are locked behind a diary, a medium diary. You can't, like, go into... I just got a spider's task after doing that rogues one, finally. You can't kill Spindle or Venonatis until you've done the medium, which I can't do because I need to do between a rock for the gold dwarf helmet, which is a ridiculous thing, but it's way out of region. It has prerequisite quests that are out of region, and that's just one example. It's basically like that for all the regions. So when it comes to the mediums, I am going to have to break my rules a bit, except for Corand, which is safe on the medium front. Now, on the other hand, the easy diaries are all obtainable without breaking any rules. So I thought, you know what, we've got levels, we've got no reason not to crack on. Why not just go knock out all the easy diaries we have access to? Which is Varrock, Lumbridge and Drainer. We've already done the Great Corrend one. After that, it's just Wilderness. And that'll get us 7,500 XP worth of lamps. So I'm probably just going to shove it all on Slayer to help this grind up. Like I said, I did finish off that rogue task just earlier. It was very unexciting as predicted. Got a range level though, and up to 39 and a half Slayer. Still nine levels away though. There's some earth runes for a rune crafting level, and another task there. So yeah, I'm just going to be bashing through some tasks at the minute. Stick it on Slayer, and then I'll probably go do my spider task in the wilderness. Which, I figured, it's not going to be an interesting task killing spiders. I'm just going to be killing low-level spiders. I don't know of any really good ones that there's any point in us doing. But, it is the tenth task, which means it'll be worth a spicy amount of bonus points when we turn it in. So I figured it made sense to do it on camera anyway. There is an argument that I should be spending this on Herblore. 
But I feel like once we're at a level where we can actually do Perilous Moons, not just the quest, but actually farm it as well, we'll get so many low level herbs from chests that I'm not really worried. I think we're going to be pretty decent on herb lore, plus with the new herb lore activity in Valamor as well coming out, like... I just want to get this slayer done so we can actually access Calm to Rump, because it's the one region that we don't have access to. There's the first 2.5k slayer XP, all the way up to 40. Guess I will go do the Lumbridge one next. You know, I totally lied. I did not realise there were Alcarid things on this Lumbridge one. We do have another rule break here. We're going to Alcarid to mine some iron and fish some anchovies, which we will promptly drop and leave. Just gonna get myself a spiny helmet here. Ooh, we've got a quiz master. I can never resist a mystery box if I'm not directly in the middle of something. Ah, two half of key. That useless thing. Just what I was looking for. And there's our easy Lumbridge diary finished up. Now do you have a teleport to that cabbage patch? I think just twice per day. Some more Slayer XP doesn't quite get us a level. This next one will though in the wilderness. Yeah, I was walking through the wheel day to the next task with no run energy left. And I just saw all these spiders here, so I thought fuck it, they've got two HP each. I oh, fuck that guy. I don't want, I don't want the smoke from that. I mean, it'd be better to do these with the bone crawl. Oh, it's multi. I can slot out the other ones. It's fine. I'm just going to get this while my run energy is recharging a bit. And there it is. 125 big slayer points puts us all the way up to 250 points. A very nice start indeed to our slayer journey. Was a bit stressful. <laughs> Run out of prayer and I'm on 16 HP. So hopefully we don't see anybody before getting these last two tasks done hoping we can just casually avoid all bypasses basically no slayer xp gained from that task though so bit of a dud in that regard but hopefully we get more interesting one next because i've had a couple boring ones in a row now excellent i think i'm just gonna accept death there we go cool i can get my steel longsword back bargain no way i still got it what if my items are in a gravestone i didn't have any items is it a vial? Oh, it's an empty vial. Wonderful. Wonderful. And that is the last of our easy diaries completed, at least until Valamor gets one, if and when, hopefully. Slap that on Slayer 2, up to level 41. Very nice indeed. And let's see what Slayer task we've got while we're here. Ents. All right. How do Ents not have a fire weakness? That's crazy. Also, the weak to stab, not slash. That feels wrong. Well, I'm not thrilled about the prospect of 60 Ents. It'll be slow, but it will also be decent Slayer XP. They actually have a plus 5% XP bonus on them. Not entirely sure why, but I'm not going to look a gift horse in the mouth. Can't remember exactly where the Ents are, but they're somewhere up here. I think I've just run around the entire area where they are, haven't I? They're all over here. I'm gonna log out and look up. But I'm not gonna log out because run energy. Oh no, there are some up here as well. So I'm much more likely to bump into somebody up here. Oh, I'm on a fucking Australian world, what am I doing? Oh my gosh, these unicorns are annoying too. Man, this is so long. And my mana just disappeared off the floor in like four seconds. Oh, you keep harvesting it? Okay, right, I'm, I need to get away from these black unicorns. I'm gonna go down to the other spot, I'm hoping there's nothing else there. It does mean running around here now. Oh, should we just go check on the green dragon boss while we're here? Just while we're in the area. I need to hop as well. Okay, this will be much better. Well, this is gonna be an extremely long one, folks, because this is a process in itself. It takes, like, as long, if not longer, to cut down the tree after... It does to actually kill it, but these resources are potentially just too good for me not to. So I'm going to keep doing... Probably just do the rest of this off cam, to be honest. Probably not much interesting going to happen, aside from maybe a Laren's Key. So I'll see you all on the other side of it. And there it is, finally, the last one. That took about four hours. It was long, 
long task. But I'm actually not mad about it. We got a decent amount of XP. We were 42 Slayer, almost 43 now. So we're just six levels away. Just five and a bit levels away from our goal for Cam to run. And I also managed to get a lot of logs. So there's a lot more in the bag as well. At least double that amount. I did just do this all in one trip. So yeah, we'll take stock of those in a sec. So we got 308 oak logs, 174 willows, and 222 maples. Not bad at all. That should get us... Well, well, we will get up to the level for willow logs if we use it for fire making, and then we'll get some of the way towards maple with those willows. And yeah, 222 maple logs there. I already had some banked from when I was doing it on stream the other day. Some nice extra fletching XP there as well. Maple is still the best we can fletch until 60, I think. Lesser demons. Interesting. They've got a magic weakness to water, which is good. I'll take anything with a weakness. That means extra DPS for free. They're all quite deep, will they? In terms of drops, not much on offer outside of a rune med helm. The very occasional death rune drop, but nothing... But we do have the potential for Laren's keys. We actually didn't last time. Oh, there's some in the Slayer Cave, which have access to a Wilderness Slayer Cave drop table. They would be better, I think. Oh, I totally forgot as well. I have like three, maybe four Soul Wars crates, I'm pretty sure. Unless I already opened them, but I... yeah, I saved them. Get three crates there. Maybe we'll get some runes or something nice inside. We are pretty broke at the minute, so honestly, a cash drop wouldn't be terrible. Rune plate body as well would be real nice because we don't have one and we can wear it now. Rune full helm is a cash drop. And nature runes. Holy shit, those nature runes. I did not notice those at first, but that is very nice indeed. 240 nature runes gives us an actual decent stock now. We got a law rune drop as well. Woo, baby, we'd be in. I don't need to even drop law runes though. We got some raw cash there as well. 26k, not what about that. And some coal and some sharks and some moss. So we got so many soul runes. I guess it's soul walls, isn't it? That makes, yeah, okay, I'm making the connection now. Now we do actually have another rune fall and I think it's probably worth alking it because we've got the fedora, so we're never going to wear it. Me as well. Just get the hell cut. 374 soul runes we've now, uh, nature runes we've now got. And there is an extra 40k, which means I'm no longer flat broke. We've got about 80, yeah, 82k there. Look at all those soul runes, that's gross. Kind of just assuming these are going to be safe spotable. Not 100%. Ooh, actually, you know what I might do? If you ever play an Iron Man, you know exactly what I'm doing right now. I just can't remember whether it's an uncut or not. I keep looking at that bone dagger and thinking, why am I even bringing this, really? Like, I'm not going to start off with a bone dagger spec, am I? I've got the bone crossbow anyway, and I'm not using the bone dagger just to poke. That'd be dumb as hell, so... I'm going to sort out that situation. And um, now realising I don't have the attack level to wield the thing that I'm sorting out, but fuck it, I'm already on the way. Cut diamond. Maybe you can use both, I don't know. Okay, well, we can actually afford a long sword, which is good, because I would completely bankrupt myself there, but I will take the dagger. Level 60 attack to use it, unfortunately. Only 54. And I wish you could get these from the LMS store. They have, like, no energy potions at all. Can't be asked to do a farm run. Yeah, I've only got one Harlander patch planted. Oh, it is a house, though. I can go get that easy. Yeah, I actually... Don't have any more Harlander seeds though, so it's not like I even could do a farm run other than collecting this. Well, I could get Limpoit roots and make energy potions that way. Maybe I should. It's probably worth it. Oh, we still don't have a teleport. I thought it was on the easy one. That's annoying. Energy restores though. It's literally the thing that I complain about most. Maybe I should make use of those a little more. Well, six full energy potions is better than none. This is another one of those things that will be solved by being able to do Perilous Moons. Because you get so much Harlander from it, specifically. And Irrit, which is... No, wait, it's Avento for Super Energy. Super Energy is going to be a bit of a weird one for us, because you need more Maya Fungus for it, and we don't have Mauritania, which is the main way of getting it. Or Fossil Island, which is the secondary way of getting it. Instead... We're gonna have to get it from wilderness bosses. Some of them do drop it in 
like noted stacks of like 60 at a time. So that's going to be our only way to get it to make super energy potions, which will be a bit unfortunate. So we're going to need regular energy potions for a long time, basically. Which means that every time I don't hit a unique item drop at moons, I'm at least going to be getting some useful resources. Not just for the XP, but actual useful. Alright, 420 is coming up, so I am going to go for a smoke. And then I'm going to go make myself paella. Then, in a little while, we'll take care of some lesser demons. How about that? Alright, this is probably the first time I have killed lesser demons in the wilderness. I don't think I've done that before. Hopefully it's a nice smooth trip, no people. I mean, it is half 5am right now, so 277 online is uh, as good a time to be in the wilderness as you could possibly fucking get. I don't want to call it PK equipment, but maybe anti-PK. I can at least defend myself and fight back a bit if someone comes at me. Glad I checked the map then. I was going the wrong way. I'm just sort of assuming there's a safe spot here somewhere. Maybe up top there. I know because they're walking behind that as well. That's not safe. Maybe just like here is the best bet. Oh, I can actually fight from... No, I can't. Jesus, how far is he chasing me? You're a long way from home, mate. Literally, this is as far back as it goes. Crazy. Gotta be a better way. Luring them all the way down here takes ages. I mean, they go down pretty quick, especially with the death runes, which I'll be using until I run out. I think I'm putting ashes in my bag, though, which isn't ideal. No, that pulled me out, didn't it? If I stand here, just one out from it, but still in front of it. Oh, that's not good. Actually, a PK here at this time. I can handle a fight against someone who's like a similar level to me, but if they're a higher level and out gearing me, then I'll probably just get clapped because I don't really know what I'm doing that much. I always want to be safe spotted if you can. I'm gonna have to just unmark these vile lashes so I don't keep putting him in my bag. Oh, well, that's 43 Slayer. Just under 300 kills away from our goal, so we should get a decent chunk of the task done here. Didn't quite see how much XP it was per kill, but 110, so it's just normal rates, no boosts. Much quicker to kill than an Ent, though, which was also 110 XP. At least while we're using death runes, it might slow down a bit when we go down to the mine runes. I mean, it will slow down a bit. I mean, five noted gold ore at a time isn't bad. Didn't notice that on the drop table. I'm not sure if that's wilderness specific or not. Apparently, we can max it at 22 as well, which is absolutely disgusting. Guess we are using water blast, but still feels real good. Almost about to hit a new magic level, actually. That cape must be helping with the accuracy a ton, too. First time I've really used magic since getting the cape, so... Yeah, I haven't been noticed many splashes. I mean, these guys do have negative magic defense and a weakness. So that all does composite, but it actually makes this really efficient. You can see just how fast they're going down. We started at 86 and 13 so far. There's 61 magic coming in. Nothing usable from that level, unfortunately. We do get Wind Wave at the next level and Superior Demon Burn. Yo, I never thought about that. Could have used Demon Burn. I'm going to look that up, see what the rune cost is. It might not be better than this because of the weakness, but we have to have done a Kingdom Divided. It has a base max hit of 23, and it takes Soul Runes, which we have tons of, and Fire Runes, which we can do. Ooh, maybe I should go for a Kingdom Divided. That would be a very good use of the Soul Runes. Two Agility levels and ten Herblore levels away from the requirements to do it. I feel like that's very obtainable. Okay, maybe the Herblore is not quite so obtainable. This is the part where I regret using all my lamps from Easy Diaries, isn't it? Maybe we uh, hold off on the Demon Bane plan for now. I should just spend like five hours pickpocketing Master Farmers. But whenever I have five hours to play, I feel like I want to do things. Okay, I was just thinking about Achievement Diaries, because there are so many that have requirements outside the region. And I just thought, like, the reason that I got onto this train of thought is because I got a, an Anakal Teleport tab, and I'm like, well, I can never use that, because it's an ancient spell book. But then I was like, hang on though, I'm pretty sure there's something Teleport in a Wilderness Diary. 
and there is. I've been trying to like think about how I feel about these when I do get to them. And I think if a diary within my regions requires me to unlock something, like Desert Treasure 1, then it's fine for me to use it. I just can't actually switch onto the ancient spell book because I can't get to the altar and I can't get a pharaoh scepter but I suppose at 99 mage I could switch onto the spell book with a mage cape theoretically <laughs> at which point like I wouldn't hate the fact that you know I don't know if lunas are unlocked at some point as well it feels a little cheaty but at that point like we've kind of earned it you know what I mean if I have to get to 99 mage to actually be able to use the spell book, and it's a spell book that's required for one of my regional achievement diaries, then I, I kind of feel like I've earned the right to use it. Also got here, yeah, yeah, this needs astral runes. Dream mentor. So I'm going to have to unlock lunas as well. It'd be the same case. It'd be one of those things that, like, I'm not going to use... Well, I'm not going to be able to switch onto the spell book. Unless I have daily charges of a... Uh, I think you get five per day. I don't think there's any other way that I could switch to either of the other spell books other than those. I could reset myself to standard at all times at the Arceus. But I'd never have a permanent infinite way to switch. But the main reason I, I, I'd f want to like feel okay about using it is just for things like tablets or... You know, if we get Ancient Ice, I don't know, because we would have to be on the book for a, a sack still. But tablets, if we get tablets from Wildy content, I want to be able to use them. That just feels like, you know, as long as it's teleporting me in my regions. You'll get what I'm saying. I'm just blabbing because it's late and I'm tired. Oh, well, that was exactly halfway through the task now. It hasn't taken that long. I've been here maybe like 35, 40 minutes, including the time I was on the previous world. That is the death rune's gone now though. So it is going to get a lot slower from this point. Do I start casting on defensive? Because I don't think I'm in any hurry to get magic levels now. The extra defense XP is always nice. So I think that is the play. I'm actually going to call it a night soon though. And go bank and uh, go to bed. Because we've already got a full thing. I just want to do like one kill fully with water strikes to see how bad it feels. Figure out if I need to buy death runes when I come back. I mean, max it goes from what, a 28 to an 11? Quite different, isn't it? I might DPS calculate to see what the time to kill is with each spell. Ooh, an anti player body on the last drop. Not a terrible task at all. Good XP. Like 12 kills away from the next level. We'll get a decent amount of the way towards 45 as well on this task. Shouldn't have too many tasks left remaining then until we are at the 48 goal. And then I can stop hard focusing the Slayer so much. Yeah, not much gained there, but a little something back at least. Did bring some more other resources home with us as well. Blighted things of various. See you all tomorrow. Hello again everyone. I have just spent the last couple of hours playing Soul Wars. Because I think this is actually my best money making method right now. For pure money, maybe thieving in Valamore's better, but this also gives us like so many useful resources, including the main thing that we want to spend money on at the minute, which is runes. So I figured I may as well just do this for a bit. We'll get some cash. We'll probably get some runes too, hopefully. We've got 112k already in the bank because I did a bit of crafting with rubies and diamonds that we'd got here from our previous trips. So it's just good money all around good resources for skilling xp and hoping we get some death runes some cash drops maybe even we get like a, a dragon long or something that we can use now that'd be sick okay some death runes and some cash drops that's exactly what i asked for um yeah how about some soul runes some diamonds and some addy bolts to go with nature coal dead drop with the two farf rune arrows addy bolts pure essence Soul runes, coins, and pure essence. More nature runes, rune ore, and diamonds. Myth ore, death runes, and addy arrows. That's good, that's more death runes. That might be enough to finish the task out, honestly. 300 coal and a torstal and a cabbage. And 3k, 300 bolts, and a dead drop. I'm gonna set these to drop. 
because they are useless on this account. Okay, well, they don't have a value, do they? Like a high alt value. 60. What if you put it together, though? Oh, fuck, I'm an idiot. <laughs> 90. No, not worth. Okay, 508 death runes. I have 90 for some reason from something else. I think that's probably enough to finish the task. And those nature runes are actually so fucking nice. Unfortunately, you can't get lore runes in these crates. I did check it earlier. And it turns out they're not in there, which kind of sucks. But these nature runes, oh, baby, that's so much money. And there's so much money we just saved on death runes as well. Whatever you, if you ever look at like a stack of runes, it's pretty much half the price that it actually costs you. So the high elk value is like half the shop price pretty much. Or it's 60% maybe. I don't think it is actually that high though. I think it's like 55 maybe. But yeah, so we've saved about 120k in death runes and maybe about 200k from nature runes there. Fuck knows on soul runes, those are even more expensive, but also not useful for much of the minute. Okay, very happy with that. I'm gonna gear up to go back and finish the rest of this task and we should be chilling. Honestly, it didn't feel like the safest spot where I was safe in them. Like it was kind of in the middle of the tunnels, so I could get caught out quite easily there. But we didn't see anyone yesterday at least. Although it was way later at this hour, who knows. But yeah, the spot itself didn't exactly feel safe, but there was nowhere that was actually safe otherwise from the, the demons themselves. Okay, hopefully I am just chilling here till the end of the task now. I will take no big drops or crazy shenanigans in exchange for no PKs. I'm happy with that deal because this is really good Slayer XP with the rate that we kill them at with these death runes. I wasn't on defensive for most of yesterday either, but now that I am, it'll probably start to rise up a lot more. Ooh, bonus death runes. Need to make sure they don't go in the bag, because I think yesterday they did, and that's why I had 90 spare at the end. Ooh, rune med helm. That is not bad at all. That's one of those we've had from them. It's like the one decent item that they drop, wilderness or anywhere. Just occurred to me that we didn't get a single, like, rune alkabal item from all those crates. That's crazy. I mean, we got rune arrows, I guess. But that's not much profit. It's more just a good way to get magic XP. I was waiting to see if that guy started moving, and he did. Don't really want to be in the next world over in case he comes back. There's a Slayer level 44. Apparently if we carry on at the rate we're currently going, it would be done in three hours. Shame this task doesn't have 219 extra count on it. Not that I like being in this particular spot, but I'm basically going to be happy with anything that has a decent amount of health and an elemental weakness, because that just means that I can get more DPS out of my resources than I'll be able to get without the elemental weakness and if it doesn't have a weakness then i'm just doing it with range because i need to train that up higher more than i need to train magic up i would like to work towards getting all my stats up to 60 combat wise so that i can wield dragon stuff and whatever you know room crossbow i guess that's 61 maybe but around the 60 mark is is where i would like to get to but do have to focus on doing it through Slayer until we get that 48. Then I can start to branch out to other other places of getting my combat XP. Another rune med helm, let's go. Pogging off this trip. A chaos talisman. I'm not sure if we had one of those. That might have been the first one, which is interesting because we can get to the chaos altar physically, not just through the abyss. It may come in use at some point, I don't know. I don't know how much we'll ever want to craft chaos runes, but in terms of rune crafting, we are gonna have to do some, and it is gonna have to be the classic way of rune crafting. So there probably will be a portion where I want to craft chaos runes, because I know I need to get up to 35 rune crafting for the what lies below quest, so I can start buying battle stash from Zap, because that's a, a big money maker. Iron Man making battle staffs. Uh, I feel like that's the jump where you go from 
been in the hundreds of Ks to the potentially millions is when you get access to battle staffs. We don't have the crafting level yet either to make them. Can't make a water orb, although we can get them from Perilous Moons technically, but that's probably further away than we are from Earth Battle Staffs, uh, Air Battle Staffs, or we do have fire orbs already in the bank, 30 of them, thanks to some lap dragon kills. But the first one that we can get that we can actually make the orbs for ourselves is the Earth Battle Staff, 58 crafting. We're still only on 46, so it's a long way to go. About 4,000 fish pulls, which would be fine if I had a great way to get molten glass, but I don't, because I don't have seaweed, like giant seaweed I can't grow without fossil island, and I can't do hand in the sand, I don't have any sand pits that are really close to the bank, except potentially the one in Xenaris. The best way to get it is buying it from a chart ship, but that's just very, very slow. But it is like my only real crafting method. Outside from the, the rubies and diamonds I've been getting from Soul Wars anyway. And they need gold to go with them. I'm kind of running low on gold ore. Yeah, crafting's a sticky one at the minute. There might be a better way, like maybe it's better to do leather or something. But pretty sure I still only have access to the expensive guy in the fourth us. Can't remember. I'm sure there is another one somewhere, but I can't remember where it is. I feel like it is somewhere else in Corn for some reason. Addy plate, very nice. Gonna hop worlds because somebody did just hop through here. Let's get a bit skittish every time I see another person. Did have a, a PK skull as well on a key. Oh, we got a Laren's key. Let's go. Right near the end of the task. I should probably bank to be honest. My bag is very nice right now, but. I kind of just want to finish it because we've only got nine left. Hope I don't regret that decision. Damn, my bag's actually full. Seven kills? Do I just bank? Feels so dumb, but I, I can't loot anything anymore, so... Maybe I should be a little more selective with my loot rather than just taking absolutely everything. Uh, yeah, I guess we can't take that Garak to the port. I'm gonna bank. I hate how inefficient it feels to not be able to pick up loot that's potentially good when I've got fucking mithril axes in my bag. I don't know what I'm doing with those. I should definitely hide those. Very good trip though. Very, very good trip. Hopefully this Laren's key turns into something nice. Like the last one was coal maybe. Don't mind coal. Wouldn't mind some gold ore if it was going to be a drop of that sort rather than a more exciting drop. What the fuck bruh. Just no need for that. Oh, I should probably buy the daily staffs. I totally blanked on the fact that we have daily staffs now. I was saying I needed to do the quest for battle staffs, but that's only to actually buy battle staffs from Zaf's shop, which you can world hop and buy as many as you like of. The daily ones, I can actually get those. So I probably should. I guess there won't be many per day with just the easy diary done. Like 15 or maybe even 10, I'm not sure. Like I say, because we do already have 30 orbs built up, I should at least get 30 battle staffs built up ready to go. As soon as we get those crafting levels online. But it will put a bit of a dent in my current cash stack. That would be worth in the long run. And there's the last one. 300 total points now. You're wondering what I'm saving them for. You're gonna have to keep wondering. Okay, first up, we'll see what Crystalia has to offer us. Bears. Kind of a boring one, but I'm gonna grab another wilderness sword as well, because I forgot mine. May as well guess better. If you didn't know, the wilderness sword always cuts through spider webs, so that's why I'm taking it now. You know, there's never any risk of getting stuck on one. What we got? That is a terrible drop. That's a terrible drop. That's like third of a soul loss crit. That is atrocious. I'm not even mad if I get PK'd for this on my way back. Was not worth the two energy potions it took to get here and back to Mage Bank. Hello again, everyone. It has been actually a couple of days since I recorded. But that doesn't mean I haven't been playing. I have been playing quite a lot. It's simply been skilling grinds for the most part that weren't that interesting so there hasn't been a lot to show but i'm very happy to say that now we do have something to show for the results of our labors we have 58 crafting levels yeah i've been doing a lot of crafting and now i'm here 
at the uh, earth obelisk. And now we can make earth bottle staffs. I just have to make these first. I also have been doing some rune crafting. I'm all the way up to 27 now. I think we were on like 10 at the start. Uh, I did a bunch of runes through the abyss. And quite honestly, it was horrific. It was very, very bad. Until you've made body runes through the abyss. Don't come at me. It sucked. And then thankfully today I remembered that the current library, the Arceus library exists where you can get runecraft and XP from books. So I did that from like half an hour and got from 20 to 27 for the cosmic runes. Made the cosmic runes that I need for this spell and whenever I need cosmic runes I can make them now. It takes a couple of minutes to do a trip for 30, but uh, that's enough for 10 battle staffs so we can only get 15 a day from Zath at the minute. More than enough, you know, a couple of trips. We got enough for a day. So I have 33 staffs banked at the minute. Battle staffs. I had three from a PVM drop. I can't remember exactly where. Maybe revs, either that or probably, I don't know, Soul Wars can drop them. So I'm just going to do another invent of orbs because that will be 27 times 54. So that would give me another day's worth as well, because in a few hours time I'll be able to claim from Zaf again. And this is going to be a very nice boost to our GP. Right now the cash stack's on about 80k. I did make a little more from diamond necklaces, because we unlocked the ability to make those. We can actually make bracelets now, which are the most profitable diamond thing. I haven't done any yet because we only just hit 58, but I did save a bunch of diamonds. Though I could do with some more gold before I really try and go for that. Uh, anything else I did? A couple lamps on herb lore. I've started putting lamps on herb lore now instead of slayer because I think we're getting close to our slayer goal. Don't think there was really a great deal else that I got up to. Tiny bit of prayer just from buns that we had built up. I just went to the, the bone all while I was doing my crafting runs. And yeah, the crafting I was just doing at Fortis still. Just going from the charter ship straight to the furnace and then to the bank. I, I did it all there. Uh, so I've got like 900 of these orbs in the bank plus a bunch of lantern lenses because they're worth fucking 5 XP more or something. 2.5 XP more? 2.5 XP more. It's worth. Why am I going up here? I can't do air orbs yet. We don't unlock those till 66. Oh, and we're poisoned. That's lovely. You can let this go automatically, but it is way quicker to do it manually if you get the timing right. I feel like this guy's going to attack me. I don't know why. I'm just getting that vibe. Oh my gosh, it keeps moving me. Oh, he's just trying to do that. That's why. That's why it keeps moving me. I keep using it on the fucking stalactite. Getting out of here. That guy looks sketchy as fuck. Wow, I literally just had enough chaos uh, cosmic runes. Like I say, I can always go a bit more if I need to. Okay, so Earth orbs can go in my crafting tab. And we can grab ourselves a fire staff and a lovely big stack of nature runes. Thanks, Soul Wars. And we can go ahead and get ourselves 13 of each. And this is actually pretty good crafting XP too, but we're not doing enough of it for it to be relevant. Because we don't have that many battle staffs. The higher tiers of the Varrock Diary, and once we get up to 35 for Cosmic Runes, for not Cosmic, sorry, 35 for Chaos Runes, and the What Lies Below quest, we'll gain access to as many battle staffs as we need, so we can actually use this as both a money making and crafting method. Though it is elaborate prep to go and charge up the orbs, so we'd be better off doing that once we're getting water orbs for free from grinding out perilous moons. Things are starting to come together, bit by bit. Should we just grab the rest of our cash stack as well, so we can see this? It is the largest amount of money we've had so far, I think, at any point. Certainly will be by the time we're done with this. Oh, I forgot to mention, I did also do the Bear Slayer task. I didn't get, like, I got, like, 2k XP from it. It was nothing, so we're still 44, but we are almost 45. And the next task I got was a demon's task. It's quite a large one. I think it's like a 115 or something. So I will be getting to that later on. I'll just check it. So yeah. 108. Yeah, it's quite a lot. So I will be doing that at some point. There's just a couple other things I would like to do first. Now that I finally got to the end of this horrible skilling grind. But the reason I decided to invest in this all grind is because we just keep needing money for like runes and shit. And if I want to keep doing slay tasks efficiently, then I need to be using 
like, not mind runes. <laughs> so if I want to go do this demon task, I had to buy runes, and now I have the money to do that. At least a decent amount of them. Just check the lock, see if there's anything else I've missed. Don't know, it doesn't look like it, no. I've basically done no PVM, so... Other than the bears. Yeah, I think you all are caught up now. So, the other day when we were doing Ents, we got quite a lot of logs. Oak, willow, and maple. I don't know how high these are going to get us, but I would like to find out. And I'm lazy. So I'm also going to go and buy some law runes so that I can teleport and do fire lines because, yeah, I'm, I'm lazy. And I've got a big cash stack now, so I feel like I can do what I want with it. But let's not bring the cash stack with us to Mage Bank. In fact, is there anywhere better I can get law runes now? There might be, let me check. I know Camter Room's got like 500, so that's the best shop, but we don't have it yet. No, it is still just... Okay. Wilderness Sword, head to Mage Bank. I may as well stock up on the other runes while I am there. That I'm wanting for the demons. I'm not going to spend all my money though. I'm just going to spend a couple hundred K on runes. Oh nice, we just got 40 cosmic runes from the claim. I didn't realise it was that many. I think I'm going to have to do like 50 a world. Let's be honest, you can never have enough law runes. Money's going down quick though. Okay, I'm going to leave it there on the laws for now because they're actually more expensive than the deaths. Keep going on the deaths till I'm at like 500. I'm pretty sure I have a stack of some in the bank already. No, not many in the bank. Do you have chaos runes as well? Though? I should use these up seeing as though we have them. This will, these will probably be enough to get the uh, demon task down in two trips. Is it worth buying chaos runes? They are a lot cheaper. It's like half the price. I think I'm gonna leave it there. It's definitely enough to get the demon task on later. But now though, I want to go do some fire making. So yeah, I always find this a nice, easy location to use. I mean, obviously it depends what zones you have and what teleports you have, but this is one that most people get at a low level is just Varok teleport and then buy a line from there. Takes you to the bank, you pick up more logs, teleport back to the middle, rinse, repeat. So I am just going to be doing this for a bit. I want to see if I can get all the way up to 50 fire making. Right now it is my lowest level ability by quite a way construction the next lowest at 25 and i would like to get tears of gothics unlocked which is level 49 so technically i don't need 50 49 is fine i just figured 50 may as well be the more natural stopping point plus it's the requirement for winter todd in future for all my future fire making training after 50 so yeah that's what i'm sort of aiming for i don't know how far the logs are going to take me i'm hoping that the willows take me up to maple and then the maple will get me a little further but i'm hoping i can save most of them for fletching because i still want loads more fletching levels but fire making it is pretty quick so i guess i'll see y'all when i'm deeper well, this is the last of the willow logs. I ended up just running back and forth because I was at full run energy anyway, and it seems silly to just waste law runes. So now I just have a nice big stack of law runes, which is good. Unfortunately, we're only just going to get to 40 off these willows, and we need 45 before we can use maples. So we're still away off the eventual goal, and we're out of logs we can burn. I do have a hopeful solution though, which I'm going to make my way to in just a moment. Okay, this is probably going to be rough, but I can't really think of a better way. It's going to take about 500 T clocks to get to our goal, but it will be a lot of locks no matter what we do. If we only go to 45 and then swap to maples, it will probably be a lot less. I'll probably recalculate it when I get there. Either way, I've got a lot of fire making still to do although this is fairly fast at least it seems to be chopping the logs at a decent pace so we'll get some woodcutting xp along the way and some fire making xp and i'll see y'all when i'm at 49 for the quest hello again everyone it's a few hours later and i have got up to 49 fire making was here in dogish can because i decided to steal myself a bullseye lantern because i couldn't be asked to make one and then go get it filled up here anyway and all the nonsense so i just robbed one and yeah gonna go and knock the quest out now it's a very quick one so it shouldn't take too long and then i'm probably gonna go and do the demon slayer task 108 to kill it's quite possible 
that we finish our goal of 48 from this task. I haven't done the math on it yet, but I'm sure we'll see the math once we get a few kills in. In fact, I'll put it up here in advance. Yeah, I wanted to get Tears of Guthix unlocked before I went any further because of how painful runecrafting was. So I kind of decided I was going to do it before I remembered about the Arcase library, but it's still a good thing to just get done and out of the way and on timer at all times. So you're getting the most extra XP. And for those that don't know, Tears of Guthix is a weekly activity. You can only do it once per week, but you get... XP in whatever your lowest skill is, depending on how well you do in the mini game. So for me at the minute, it's going to be construction, but I feel like most of the time it would be rune crafting. Oh, I did actually have an idea for construction that could be interesting. I may go and try that out before moving on to the slayer task, because I can probably try it and get a feel for it in like 20 minutes. So that won't take too long. It's not something I've done a lot of before. Excellent. There's a thousand crafting XP, barely making a dent after all the crafting we've done. We have to empty our hands first, of course. And we're telling them about a ribbiting tail. Okay, and then we just got to collect the blue tiers, avoid the green ones. Easy enough. I'm still really bad at it. And another thing is, the more quest points you have, the more time you get in this cave. So, obviously having a higher quest point total is going to be beneficial, but... There are a very limited amount of quests I can actually do in my regions. So it's always going to be uh, not very long, I guess. But I will crack out as many of these as I can just simply to get that quest point total up higher for that. And there's a level, construction level. Okay, I'm going to go and just look into my thing. Oh, we got a mysterious old man. Oh, it's a ruby. Oh, that's not too bad. Okay, I'm hoping this won't be too complicated. I don't think it will be. So, we're going to the Winter Todd camp. Not for Todd itself, still one level shy. But this is my easiest way to a minecart, and I think that's my easiest way around Corrent, because I don't really have a quick way to get to a fairy ring. I guess the wrong one. Uh, no, this is probably the right one. Okay, so we're going to talk to this chick. Now southeast of the temple. About five minutes. Oh, I can take a note. Uh, oh, I should have brought my caress. It's a good job there's a bank right here. That would have made more sense. Should bring my Xerix as well. I don't think there's many charges in it, but I can take all the other fangs in the bank that we have. Caress has got tons of charges. So we'll go to a dark disposition. In a house southeast of the temple. Well, what's the temple? Okay, above the magic shop. Guess we have to wait for it to actually start, but it was a good job though. There's a meeting coming up in five minutes. We use this to get to Shirjin as well, couldn't we? Yeah, there is one. Don't know where it puts us, but if it's near the minigame, that might be good. There. Uh, that's not too bad. Might be the best way to get back. I don't know how we actually charge this thing. I think you just have to take it to a statue. It doesn't get cost anything. Oh no, it does cost. <laughs> Cost law, body, mind, and soul runes. It's annoying because I've just realised I'm on an Australian world, but if I world hop, this information is meaningless because it's separate on each world, so. Oh! Okay, maybe I want to pray. Oh, guy's got a Halley? Can I save spot? The Halley guy's still getting me. Take him out first. Should have brought power potions. I wasn't realising this was actually going to be, like, a dangerous encounter, really. Okay, danger's over. And there's the boss town. We got intelligence, which I think we trade in for an XP reward, but this was mainly the reason why I thought this would be a good idea. The oak planks. They drop a lot of planks. Both the gangsters and the gang bosses drop them. So I thought it would be a pretty solid way to farm planks for construction without having to actually pay for them. That we got another intelligence there as well. Hopefully we can kill these two before things start getting in danger of respawning. So I can just pick it all up. But I was a bit unprepared for what happened there. But we got through it. More rug planks. Very nice. Okay, we got some black pieces as well. Might be useful for something. Or we could just alk it, to be honest. Like, that's... Okay, cash. It might be worth bringing nature runes with me. Uh, minigame teleports on cooldown. I think I'm gonna do at least one more of these. That didn't seem too bad. We got 26 oak planks out of it. I just need to be a bit more prepared. But I don't know how easy it is to find them, but I'm gonna hop anyway, because I don't want to be in an Australian world, so. I wish I had a good way to get to a fairy ring, but I really don't. 
Is there a task for like teleporting to all five or something? Must be. Maybe I should do it while it's been tracked because I know if you do other tasks then it breaks the tracking. You have to, I'll just have to do it again, you know. Okay, so can we check the information? Oh, it's in progress now. Same place. What the hell? Okay. Please tell me I didn't just read that wrong and... Nope, they're here. Perfect. Okay, I'm gonna go down. Oh no, then the Holly guy got me. That was a bad idea. Wait, someone else here? What? Where did they all just go? Oh yeah, what happened there? That was really weird. Anyway, I'm gonna just go to each of the others for the diary task. It's using charges, but fuck it. There we are, it's a medium task. And then we'll go back to Shazin and see if there's all on that board. I honestly don't know what happened there. Non listed at the minute, because I'm gonna have to hop out. Let's just see what these are first. Oh, we can get combat. Looks like it's based on levels. I think I might just take defense to be honest, because it's where I'm lacking the most. Or attack maybe till. Maybe I do attack to 60 so I can get my DDS. Very nice. And then, yeah, I'm gonna have to like hop and see if I can find another world. Because I don't know what happened with that last one. Maybe I got there too late and it like despawned. Nothing on this one. Hop through like 10 worlds, I'm not finding anything. Apparently most worlds are within seconds of each other and if not minutes, so not a great sign. I think maybe I was just lucky at the time you know I turned up. Keep seeing if I can go into different regions or... It's not looking like it. Oh, 20 minutes though? That's a long time. Another one in 20 minutes. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to wait 20 minutes for a fucking gang thing. I'm just going to go do Slayer. It seemed okay, but then struggled to find them. I guess you just you can't just keep coming and checking it, can you? Maybe if you do one, then you time to the next one. That might work. I don't know. It seems weird. Oh, also cool random aside. We can make a Ring of Wealth if we get a Dragonstone from somewhere. The thing is, there's not that many places we could get them, but if we get a Revenant's task, Revenant's is one of the places we can get them. I mean, I could always just go there to try and get one, but I'll go with the Chaos Runes first, see how painful it is. Every time, man. Every time. I'm so bad at this game. Oh, yeah, that teleblock off. You can log to get rid of a teleblock if you were... were. Obviously not why you're in combat, but... Back to the old single sketchy tile. Ooh, we've got battle staffs at Zaf. That's some more money in the pocket when we go back to see him later. Looks like max it's a 16. I think it was 22 with the death, so we lose 6. Oh, and it's not looking like this task is going to get us there. It's expecting 200 demon-sized enemies to our goal. We've only got 107 to kill, so... There will be at least one task after this, probably more, because a lot of the tasks do not gain much XP at all. Need to be a little more selective with the drops I'm picking up today, because I was filling up my bag way too quick last time with, like, myth relaxers and shit. That's 45, slow. Rune, med help. Not bad. There's a hop. Sorry, fen shitter, not today. My gosh, please don't hop into me while I'm in combat. There's a defense level. Oh, there he is again. Here he comes at me again. I'll go back to the last world to see. Okay, he actually came back for me. I'm just going to get out of this world range totally. To a completely different point. That guy's holding me down. He must want the fedora, but I'm too quick. I ain't losing this bad boy. It took me a whole of five kills to get hold of it. People probably think I'm a right dickhead, don't they, when they see me in a fedora in the wilderness. It's fine, it's protected anyway. I ain't got shit else worth on me. Oh, baby, I didn't even know about that. Okay, I think it's smoke break time. This is going slow with the Chaos Ruins. It's to be expected, right? Like, they are half the price after all, so... 63 magic coming in there. Nothing actually unlocked at that level, but I think it would be charge fire orb. We can never access that, so. Though at level 64, we do get lesser corruption. We can access that. 
65 we get water wave and 66 we can charge up air orbs which is the next type of orb we can do and the most valuable one so it's good that we can do it worth the most xp mash that key so many times i'm gonna call this trip very soon we are currently exactly halfway through the task we've killed 54 54 left but still got a few chaos runes here and one space in the loading bag so i'm just gonna go till this last space gets filled up what's the in our runes whichever comes first ah, and that's the last one an insult demon head I hate that looting bags use GE value because it's way inaccurate. It makes it look like I've got shit tons more. Just because of things like these crabs teleports. They're worth like 30k each, see? Like it's all just in stuff that doesn't have high alk value but does have GE value. It's a shame we can't make a water battle staff. It would actually be an upgrade for us right now over the regular water staff. There we are. So we made about 40k, 35 I guess, because it costs 105k for 15 staffs. So we made 34k there. We can get that daily just by visiting Zaf staffs. Nice to have unlocked on the account. Just got a herb law level from a lamp before setting off. We got about 50, 51 left to kill. 700 death runes should be enough to get it done. Plus it should be a bit quicker than the first half was given the fact we're using deaths up from chaos. There's 46 layer and a Laren's key. Very nice indeed. Hopefully this one's better than the last one that was just a bunch of diamonds. Not even that many. I'd actually kill for like a huge stack of gold ore. That'd be huge. I don't know how big it can drop. 500? I'm happy with that. 1000? Ecstatic. Just so I can make whatever jewelry I need whenever I need it. Whether it's for alking for money or making enchanted jewelry. Whatever it is. Looking at my bank and being like, oh, well, I only have 30 gold. So I shouldn't just make all of these rather than just making a full invent of whatever it is I'm making. Fucking sucks. Another Lauren's key. Holy shit. It's the first time we'll have had two to take in one go. To be honest, I should probably just bank. Because those are potentially valuable. I only just got here though. There's 70 combat. 47th defense level comes in for 11.25 total. And the 70, like I say. Certainly coming along. Up to level 97s can attack us here. I'm sort of passively working on this defense because I know how important it'll be when we do get to the Perilous Moon's grind. And magic doesn't have anything crazy that we're rushing towards that we need. I actually don't know what there really is for us on the standard spell book to use. Like, we don't have any area of effect stuff. I guess Vile Vigor is a... So, like, Arceus spells might be more. Oh, we can't do Dragonstone yet. That's a good point. And, of course, that Charge Air Orb at 66, as I mentioned earlier. Degrime, maybe? No, that might be a Luna, I think it is. Reanimations, I guess, different levels of reanimations. There's Ward of Arceus. Death Charge, that's something to do with special attack energy, in it? Maybe I have to like, look into this shit. Demonic Offering, that's to do with Ashes. There's one to do with Thieving. Maybe we already have it. A Looting Bag, no. I think that's quite a rare drop. We can exchange it at any bank for a Looting Bag. Of course, we already have one. They drop from everything in the wilderness, so it's not that valuable, but nice to have a backup in case we die with ours, and then we can just grab a new one from any bank. Yeah, Shadow Veil, we already have it, but it scales up with your level, if I remember right. Might be uh, worth it to... I don't know if it's worth the runes, that's the thing. But like when I'm doing Master Farmers and shit. Oh my gosh, that was a close one. He was the natural line of sight of me. Yep, and he followed. Okay, I'm just going to go to a completely different... I'm going to hop away from this cannon. If there's a cannon here, that means someone's coming back for it. Like, these tasks are great XP for us at the minute. It's probably one of the better XP tasks we can get for Slayer XP. But the scariest shit, man. Like, this is such a hot spot. I feel like every single time I've come to this cave, I've encountered somebody with a skull above their head. At least one person that I've had to hop away from at every trip, so... 
I'd rather have a random task like green dragons that I can do in a spot where I'm much less likely to have people hopping through looking for kills. So I just don't like those places are just easier to escape from, you know, they're kind of in the middle of nowhere. Lower level in wilderness. And we'd still be getting good XP from a task like that, so. Yeah, I don't mind demons, they're good XP, not the best location. Just has me on edge the entire time I'm here. Makes it take like 10 times longer. Oh my gosh. A third one in this single trip. That's so fucking good. I don't know what the rate actually is on them from these guys. I feel like we were underrated in general for keys from how much slay we have done though. It's one in 98. So it's pretty crazy for us to have got three within 40 kills. Last one here. There we go. 350 total slay points now. We are certainly racking up the task completions. 14 done, still a way away from the next boosted point task. We'll get that up. Look at that bag. Three entire Laren's keys to hopefully not get PK'd for. I'm gonna bank my shit, put on some green dehyde and a defense army. Get as much magic defense bonus as we can. I do not want to risk these. Oh, they do stack at least, that's nice. Ooh, what daily runes do we get? Chaos runes? Gee golly. At least one of these has to be something decent, right? At least one of them. Run our seeds, we'll take that. Magic locks, fuck me, that's a lot of magic locks. Dragon arrow tips is garbage. Jesus, what the hell am I gonna do with those magic logs? I don't think I have anything to use those for. I suppose I could theoretically get up to the fletching level without needing the woodcutting level, but... The Renarcids are good. The, the, the one out of three, I think, is decent. The magic logs, I'm sure I'll appreciate somewhere down the line, but right now is kind of useless to me. Uh, the dragon arrow tips are a million, million, zillion miles away from being useful, so those are kind of garbage. Though they do have a, a decent high alk value. I think is that the same as a, a rune arrow, or is it more? Rune arrows are 240, so that is more than a rune arrow, which is decent. Right, well, I suppose we best see what Crystillia's got to to say for herself. Greater demons. Okay. A big task. That'll definitely, definitely, like, I'll finish my goal before this task. Well, that's pretty much the same strategy as Lesser's, just in a slightly deeper spot, and I don't know what the safe spots around there will be, but I can go find out, obviously. I think I'm gonna leave it for the night, though. I'm feeling pretty, like, tired. I don't know, my head's just all foggy today, and it didn't feel great being in the wilderness when my head was like that. So, I might just go, like, pickpocket some master farmers, see if I can get some seeds, because I am always need Haralanders, man. Three energy potions is not the one. But yeah, we'll see what I can be able to do. Catch you guys when I come back to the Slayer, I guess. Or whatever else. Be interesting. Okay, I'm not set up to, like, record with my green screen and camera and stuff. But I was sort of AFK skilling, doing a bunch of fletching. And it was so fucking slow doing maples. So, ooh, surprise exam. I have to take care of this. Thank you very much. Okay, so after all this time, like, that I've been teasing Slayer... I've actually changed my mind on what I was going to get with my points. I was planning on just saving up for this herb sack, because I'm a fiend who loves herbs. But I want to speed up this fletching grind, so I'm just going to go ahead and invest 300 points in broader fletching, because realistically, I'm probably not going to get this until we hit 50 tasks anyway for the big bonus. So... Yeah, I figure I may as well just invest in this now. We can't actually use broad bolts yet. We don't have anything to fire them with. And we don't have... Pretty sure you need 55 Slayer, right? To equip them. Yeah. So, we don't have 55 Slayer or 61 ranged. But we'll get there. More importantly, we can now buy these. And they're probably going to be expensive. But it'll be enough to get me going with some decent fletching levels. I will need to buy some feathers as well. Am I gonna buy the second lot? Okay, I'm broke. Which means we have no money for battle staffs later. I'm gonna make some money. And then I'm gonna do these. I'm probably... I think I've got diamond bracelets I can make. So I'm gonna go do that. And then make these bolts. 
And see you guys a little later for the Slayer. Hello there everyone, finally got a chance to record properly today for a good little session hopefully. Hoping this will be the last recording session for this video. Before we unlock Cam to Rum, I do have a big Slayer task to do, Greater Demons, and unfortunately for me I'm not looking too hot on runes. I did just do a couple games of Soul Wars, I just got two crates, which I've got two open still in the bank. Yeah, I was just picking up snake grass from the uh, the new spot that we have in Corinth here, because I need to start working on my herb law levels more as well. It's, uh, it's a bit lacking down there at 41, so I think I'd stack that up to go with the Renar weed that is my best potion that I can actually make at the minute. We can't get to it like so this is dead until Saradom in brew level <laughs> at which point it can only mix with the bird nests that we can only get from regular wood cutting we don't have any other way to get bird nests unless there's something on a drop table I'm missing somewhere all right then let's see what these crates have inside I'm hoping for runes or the cash to buy them okay we got some death runes I'll take that it's not bad resources to be honest from the rest so, we'll take that. It doesn't leave me with a lot, though. Not much at all. I was trying to save this money for when I can buy staffs, which is like three hours from now. I mean, honestly, I feel like Alk in the Rune Ore is not a terrible idea. We're so, so, so far away from using it, and it does just give us a quick 30k for only 15 Alks. Feels like a good deal. I think I'm gonna do that. Some people are probably, like, screaming at the monitors right now. I think it's the play, though. Addy bars? No, they're not worth enough. Yeah, I think that's about it for now, unfortunately. Yeah, the broad bolts were not a great idea. I got, like, two levels out of 5,000 broad bolts. I'm up to 57. I don't even know if it was two levels. It might be, like, one and a half. And that cost me about 350k, I think. So it's very expensive, not really a great investment, but we will have those bolts stacked up there now. I've got like five odd thousand, maybe nearly six thousand. So they're there when we do get our RCB eventually. 64 magic coming in just then as well, but I think that unlocks anything in particular. Uh, lesser corruption? Sure, whatever that is. 150k, I can buy some death runes or a lot more chaos runes what is the more cost efficient way to get this done i can use these blood runes do i have the level water wave is 65 if i can get to 65 i could use up these blood runes i'm gonna go ahead and just dump these maple bows in a general store i'm not gonna bother hopping or anything because there's too many and i think i'm just gonna buy whatever runes i can and head to the greater demons because I don't want to put it off for too long, trying to do money making and shit again. I want to get to Cam to Rome, man. Yeah, we started on 148k. You know what? I'm not mad about that. Like 30k. There's some bows that I did AFK. I'm not mad about that at all. I did a bunch of cooking yesterday as well, last night. A couple of stats have gone up. Wood cutting, fletching, the cooking, prayer. I did a tiny bit of prayer at the... Uh, well, I'm more all over just with what I had in the bank. I've done a tiny bit of farming, actually. Do we have a... Oh, shit. I forgot to plant the trees. I was going to start a tree run, and I was waiting for them to grow while I was getting that snape grass. Here they are. Got three willow saplings. Now, I only actually have two places, Lumbridge and Varrock. I can't use the farming guild one yet, and the others are all out of region, so I only need two of these. But, yeah, I thought this would give me a nice boost to my farming and just skip some of the slower training. So I'll just try and be doing tree runs whenever I can because they're less often than herb runs. So even though I should be doing the herb runs, I'm just banking on using perilous moons for herbs, honestly. We're going to get so much herb lot run in there if we can get it done. And I'm more than happy to like over level my stats a shit ton so that I can do perilous moons and then have high combat stats that can feed my skills. I'm perfectly fine with that sequence of events. If the combat stats go way higher, that's that's cool with me. If that lets me do the other things easier. You know, what, actually, I'm just going to leave it there and see how far we go on. So that does give us a decent amount to work with. And I don't know how much of this task we're actually going to need to get to 48. So I'm happy to leave it without finishing this task. Yeah, look at that. We got like, we got a decent, decent amount there. I'll start on the deaths. Do we have a good amount of air runes? Yes, we do. All right, well, I'm just hoping that I can find a nice, easy, safe spot that doesn't put me like directly in the line of sight of 
entrances or places where people hop. We'll find out when we get that first kill how many kills it is to our goal. Uh, we are going for the far entrance this time, which is a bit of a trek, but it saves me going past all the different rooms. Should have maybe brought my glory for a teleport. I need a better way to get here. I should I should use the wilderness crabs teleport. If I need to make another trip, which I'm more than likely will, then that's what I'll do. Is there any convenient spots here? Nothing is jumping out at me. Hmm. Okay. Not ideal, but I guess this. Or here. Either way. It's really close to the entrance, that's what I don't like. Genuinely can't spot a better place anywhere, so I think this is gonna have to be it. Hey, hey, hey. 85 kills and we are at our goal. Leave us with 40 on the task. Just so I'm a bit more out of... Like, I feel like if I'm here, people might be able to hit me quicker than if I'm here. I didn't even know there were dust devils here, that's crazy. Got a different model. Just got hopped into... Guessing he might follow... Oh, someone in this world. Do I hop back or is that guy still gonna be there? Because if he's still there, then... I'll get caught if he's still there. I have to just abandon that kill that I almost had, that's annoying. Oh no. Wait, you just teleport me and then... Off? What? Okay. Maybe he saw how shit my gear was and was like, never mind. This is kind of hot right now. People seem to be hopping over here, so I think this might actually be a safer spot. Maybe like here. No, that's way too close to the opening. Can't shoot from there. God damn, there's no good answers here. I just got to stay vigilant like the whole time. Fuck's sake, man. Like straight away. Oh, and there's another one. Perfect. Oh, there's two of them. I see what's going on here. I don't even have anything, that's the thing. I don't even have a shit. Enjoy nothing? Like, I don't know what you want. Okay. I lost my death runes, that's annoying. That task is not looking good. And I just spent all my Slayer points as well, I can't skip. I didn't actually lose anything there other than the death runes. We have replacements for everything else. Oh no, the frog leather boots and the green deid vams. I can go and get a couple spare sets of each of those though. That's no problem. I'm not really sure what to do. It seems really busy at that particular spot right now. I mean, it is a Saturday night, 11pm, so it is probably a really bad time to be trying to go into the wilderness, but I gotta get this slayer done. I don't really have any other options. I mean, there are other great demons I could kill, but I think they're in a worse spot, if anything. Not better, like, by the KBD entrance. I guess there's some in the maze, too, but that can't be good. Rock leather boots, please. I didn't even realise I was wearing them. That would have been affecting my hit rate. I might see if we can go hunt down a lava dragon, but, you know. Like, maybe we get some death runes? Or just some drops that they've been hoarding? I don't know. I feel, when you get killed, it feels like you're down and you need to get back up on someone. It's bad. It's a bad mentality. I don't like it. I don't like what it's doing to me, but that's how it feels right now. I don't really want to go PK in the fedora, though. I'm sorry, y'all. I am going to be a pussy and not take that. Oh, I should get a new loot in bag. Good job we have that. Thank you very much. All right, here we go, folks. <laughs> don't really have much going on. Like, I don't really have much KO potential, but hopefully a bit of chase down potential with these energy potions. I'm gonna have to be careful with when I skull up because I know that all the bots have like a, if they see skull hop piece of code. Figured that out last time I was doing this. Whereas I don't think that happens when you not skulled because Otherwise, they'd just hop whenever another PVM had turned up, and that would fuck with their efficiency too much. I'm just gonna sink one of these straight away. We go over here, level 49, using blasts. That seems like a... You on fibro? He's not reacting at all.
Cheers. Got to bring a shield, just realised. Um, that could hurt, but I'm definitely going for this shit, so... Thank you. Got some blood runes. It's not ideal. Also, I'm running the wrong way to Mage Bank. I was hoping for some death runes. I think I'm just gonna stick around and see if we can get another kill. So that was incredibly easy. No way did I just sleep on the fact that I had a stam right there. But yeah, now I'm gonna have trouble with... Oh, okay. We're doing this then. Oh no, that's a bad place. No, that's not fair. That's not fair. Okay, as long as I can get out of this dragon's range, I'm happy. Oh no, there's another one though. Dragons are unfair, man. If I had more food, I would stay, but I just feel so scared without. Oh my gosh, this fucking thing. I would win this fight if not for the dragons. Fuck's sake, man. <sighs> Do you think I can catch him if I'm fast enough? Probably not, right? How's he getting out of there? Mage bank? Like, he'll be running past me, right? I suppose he hop. He'd hop, though. He'd more than likely hop. But maybe he won't? All my chaos runes, though, now as well. Fuck! I'm just going deeper and deeper. Okay, we don't actually want the air staff, do we? We just want the dog, because it's better. Let's just go for it. I can't spend too long, because he'll be gone. He's probably already gone, isn't he? What am I on about? And I don't even have binds now. Oh my gosh. Fuck okay, it, we're, in, we're already invested. I don't have a wilderness sword. What is wrong with me? There's like no way for me to get it. Can these guys drop a slash weapon? I need a lockpick. I am actually fucked up. Oh, at this point, I feel like I've lost everything. I'm just going to go down to the fucking demons here. I don't know what else to do. I suppose if I go to KBD lair, I could get out that way. I don't have any binds either, so I can't really kill any one. I suppose I can suicide, though. At this point, what am I losing? No run energy! He's going to get away! No! Look at that! It's like too fucking... No! You just need staminas to PK, don't you? Well, I guess binds would help, too. Any second now a real PK will show up and kill me. But just in case they don't, I'm heading for this block dagger so I can actually get back into Mage Bank. I thought I may as well finish this kill that I bot hopped away from. It's gonna be slow with these though. Oh what, I didn't even get a drop. I'm waiting, I don't care. I have got shit else to do. Go on. See you later buddy. More blood runes. Okay, I'm gonna take that because it's better than having absolutely nothing like I do now. And I'll take that knife as well, might need that. I mean, that worked really well. I just literally hopped and then attacked him as soon as I hopped in. He was kind of fucked in this spot, so... This guy's probably free. Yeah, if I had more energy, maybe he, he'd die, but... I don't, so... It's an effing chart. Oh, I could have wind-waved him! Wait, he's still there. He's gone. Betty on. I don't think I can even go down there. I don't think he'll like me without a medium diary. Probably get clapped anyway, but kind of tempted just to see. Oh, it's a fee. I'm not paying a fee. Are near any other bot farms? Green dragons like over here, all right? Or black chins even. Don't know what I'm doing. Oh, okay, that's bit. I think I'm just gonna stop recording, to be honest, guys. Hello again everyone, it has been a couple of days since I last recorded. 
after Lemony Snicket's series of unfortunate events there in the wilderness. I had to take a bit of time to recover. I haven't been playing that much. I've been doing some AFK skilling mostly. You'll see the cash tag is higher. That's because I've been doing a fair bit of Valamore thieving. That's the main thing that I've done really. Other than that, I think it's just that I got my rune crafting up at the library. 35. Let's just check this. Oh, I actually got another easy clue scroll done from one of these from the wealthy citizens uh, but there was nothing inside it i figured there probably wouldn't be so i just cracked it i did a couple game of soul walls but only like two and yeah that's basically all i've done other than maybe some minor skilling bits and pieces but i i'm gonna get back on it today we are gonna be going into the wilderness and doing some more of the slayer to finish off that 48 goal i'm waiting till the player counts get a bit lower because it's still kind of peak time at the minute but in four or five hours it'll be much less busy and then i'll feel more comfortable about going back to that spot because that spot does suck so that's basically where i'm at with it and until then i thought i would just knock out a couple quests that we now have the requirements for starting off with this getting ahead which isn't a particularly exciting quest but it does unlock us access to a tannery and it's the first tannery we will have access to other than the one in Forthless Dungeon, which is a bit weird to get to and more expensive than others. So I figured this is a good quest to get out of the way, <laughs> just so we can have that whenever we want it to be able to make ourselves hide gear. I am just a couple levels off the first piece of, like, green vams, I think it is. Oh no, we can already do green vams, actually. Technically, I could do that for crafting XP now. That's interesting. We could kill green dragons in the wilderness. You can take infinite die from the shelf, by the way. So I'm just going to grab a couple more in case we need them for anything else down the line randomly. And there is getting ahead. We can now use the tannery here. I'm guessing it's her. Or is it upstairs? I've never used it. We got some construction levels as well, so... Could you tan something for me, of course. There we go, we finally have a tannery. And now the trade option's available. Perfect. Lovely stuff. Alright, I'm gonna get myself to last man's standing for a reset. And then I'm gonna go and do what lies below, because I got that runecrafting requirement. Do you have to do this puzzle every time you come here? Surely not, right? Right, you bypass the maze through the tunnels of chaos which is like an optional thing. Okay, so I now have the beacon ring. Our first ring with actual stats on it, except for the explorer's ring plus one prayer. But this is magic accuracy, so. It is a ring to wear from now on. I'm pretty sure it's reclaimable. Actually, I don't know if we should wear it because I need to operate it during this. It's interesting, he's not yelling at me about gangs because I haven't done Shield of Arav. He usually like yells that you're a black arm gang or something. And there we are, 2000 defense XP, 8000 runecrafting XP and the beacon ring. I guess us all the way up to 38 runecraft from 35, it's probably gonna sit there for a while, can't see myself doing any more of that anytime soon. Oh, except for the cosmic runes that I need to buy, make even. I need to make cosmic runes. That's basically what I'm gonna do next, I think. Because now, more importantly, what that quest gave us access to was Zaf's staff shop now can sell five battle staffs. They're not quite as cheap as his daily ones. They go up in price as you buy them, but even still, it makes profit at the, even if you just buy them out on every world, it still makes profit. It's not as good profit as the daily staffs are, but it is crafting XP and profit and magic XP for the whole process. So I'm probably just going to do that until the worlds get quiet enough for me to go back into the wilderness. I'll be making cosmic runes first, and then I will be... I mean, I suppose I can show the... I could show the whole process once, rather than doing it all in chunks. This is how it goes. Start off like this. In fact, I think one trip to the Cosmic Altar gives me, like, the perfect amount of runes. Maybe just over. So we go through the Abyss, we mine the rock. That was the easiest one to pass, even though I failed. Now we can use the Chaos Rift now, for the first time. Over there, I've no, not used it yet. But we're gonna use this, the Cosmic Rift. Then we go to the Ferox Enclave. 
And if I was going to keep runecrafting, I'd just start the whole cycle again there. That's how I make basically all my runes at the minute. It feels a bit weird doing this whilst gold, but oh well. Let's go do the next part of the process. No, oh, this isn't enough. What am I talking about? You need 27 times 3 for an invent, which is like 81. So yeah, I have to do like three trips to the altar to do one trip of orbs. But I can't reset in Edgeville because I don't have Amulet of Glory, so I have to run from Ferox every time, basically, through the uh, underground passage there. I always forget to sip an anti-poison as well. Yeah, and then we just got to cast on this thing. And then when we've got a full invent of Earth Orbs, we go back to the Ferox Enclave. Start the whole thing again. Assuming we had the Cosmic Grins to keep going. And then the final step here is to use a Varrock. Trade Zaf. Somebody has already bought some on this world. I'm just going to insta-hop. Oh no, I should have taken those three because I'm missing two invent spaces. Maybe that would have made sense. I don't know. Someone's bought them on this world too? What's going on? I've never seen these be bought out before. People onto my strategy already? Oh no, this is terrible. I'm just gonna have to buy as many as I can find in whatever world. The max they go up to is like, uh, see, so they start at 7,000 and 7,700 is the biggest, but we get 9,200 from an orb, which takes us no money, only time, so. From a staff with an orb, sorry. And I'm finding them. I think they have a relatively quick restock time as well, so someone is buying them out, it shouldn't take too long, you know. Okay, that had full stock, then. so there's four left, but I might have invent space. But this is 26 and I had 30 orbs exactly, so I may as well just grab those last four. I don't know what cash stack I was on when I started though, something like 390k maybe. Uh, oh, I need a fire staff as well, I lost mine in the world, eh? Okay, and then we get 13 of each. Stick them together and alk them. 9,300 even for these alks, I thought it was 200. So yeah, 7,6 at the most is what we pay. So on average we pay like 7,300 for a battle staff and we just buy them all out on every world. So we make like 2k per staff for the time it takes us to go and make the orbs. And I think we made about 50k there in, I don't know, 5-10 minutes. Obviously like I wouldn't be doing it the full circuit like that. I'll go do a bunch of cosmic runes and then a bunch of earth orbs and then a bunch of staffs. In fact I might just buy the staffs now while I'm here. I'll probably just get the staffs now and then I'll know exactly how many earth orbs I need before I can stop and make them into the staffs. And yeah that's the whole process. We are now printing money at a reasonable rate much better than we were previously anyway and there's no daily limit to how much we can do this now certainly does help how much money it can make you when i next see you in a couple hours i'm sure that cash stack will be a lot higher i mean it's already gone down from like 440 but we'll uh, we'll see how high it gets and then how low it gets again when i go to buy more runes for this slayer farm <laughs> Catch you all in a bit. Well, folks, I just finished off Alkin the last of the battle staffs that I'm going to bother with for now. And just over 700k. Not bad at all. I think I'm just going to buy some Chaos runes. I don't really want to invest in death runes and risk just losing them again. So I'm just going to get Chaos runes and take like 500 at a time. How long do I have to wait? That's not too bad. About the same as a hop. Okay, that should be plenty to get the task done with. Left myself about 520k there. So, still plenty of spending money as well. But I'm, I'm hoping this is enough to at least finish the task. Did stock up on supplies the other day using points as well. Alright, and then there is the secret weapon. One of the only teleports tablets I can actually use is going to take me to the task location. No idea what world I'm on because I was just hopping. That was a silly fucking time to tell you. Still a little too busy for my liking, but hopefully it was just a bad string of luck the other day. Pretty sure it's here? Yeah, it's got to be that, right? At this point, it is just fingers crossed we don't see anyone. I don't even care about the loot. I just want to get my... Slay level done. Just a bit off this first level and then we've got another one to go still. About 20 casts a kill. 80 kills. The task is 120 and we need 80. 
48 defense. Mm, that's number 10, so far so good. Ooh, got a ring of wealth scroll. Don't actually have a ring of wealth yet, but if we ever get one, we can imbue it. I can actually make them, I just don't have a dragon stone. But I have the crafting level, I believe, for a dragon stone ring. But I can never charge it up because you need hero's quest to charge it up, I'm fairly certain. So it will be useful for its effect, but I can never like use them for teleports, I don't think. Unless maybe the version in your house doesn't need it to be charged. The one that you're making a jewelry rock, I remember. I feel like it needs to be fully charged, but the glory needs to be uncharged, so... There is 47 Slayer coming in. We just one level. Just have one level to go. So close now. 66 kills away. It's going to take roughly an hour based on the current rates. If I did not move from this spot, I can tell you I will be moving from this spot. We got 450 Chaos Runes after all. But they do keep dropping piles of 40, which I've been taking to resustain muscle. Oh, an uncut emerald is actually super nice. We barely have any access to them. Targeting ones at the back like an idiot. Yeah, I was thinking earlier, all the runes and stuff, I kind of stopped because we were in a lot of dueling rings. I've only got like three left and making runes and running to the earth obelisk uses a lot of dueling rings. Don't really have a good way to get them aside from buying emeralds for 500 GP each, which will certainly start to add up. Or pickpocketing in the ham store rooms from the chests there, but it's like a 1 in 32 for a ring, and yeah, that, that doesn't feel great. I've never actually done it, but it doesn't look very fun. Yeah, I'm pretty much happy whenever I see an emerald. An emerald is a big boy gem. Other than a dragon stone, it's the most valuable type of gem for me right now. One dragon stone would go a fair way, and as many emeralds as I can get my grubby little mitts on. I've just realised I didn't bring enough air runes to use the chaos runes that I've been picking up, so I'm gonna run out of air runes before I run out of chaos runes now. Should've brought some more air. Yeah, we're getting gold ore and gold bars, that's like, ideal. If I had, I'd just get more of these drops, preferably these ones, but if I get these ones, either. Both are so good, because I'm just constantly low on gold, and the thought of going to mine it makes me want to shrivel up and die. How about 65 magic? Now I can cast Water Surge. Theoretically though, it would be better to wait until I have Fire Surge. Or is it Wave? Whichever one it is, Wave. Water Wave and Fire Wave. Did I just see... I saw someone getting attacked down there, I think. Uh, I was going to say, because the max hit would go up if I have access to Fire Wave too. I think someone just got chased out by PK, and I was thinking about calling this trip anyway, so I might just have to... I kind of just want to poke my head in the general direction, but... Nope. Don't know if that was the same guy, or if he just hopped in at the same time, and I was lucky to be in the position I was, but... Well, there's a cannon here on this world. Got 22 down there with no interruption, so I'll take that as a win for the first trip. Some decent supplies in the bag. Yeah, theoretically I'd get the most value out of these, the most damage and XP by waiting until I have Fire Surge before I use any of the, sorry, wave. Whatever class of spell it is, I, have, I should wait until I have the highest level version of it so that the max hit is higher and I can get more XP per rune. So I'm actually going to hold on to these rather than using them like I was originally planning to. Just 50 more kills. Five oh. I am ready to get out of the wilderness for a bit now. I've spent so much time here recently on this account. I am very much ready to be in less danger at all times. No way we will obviously still be coming back here for plenty of things, but I feel like once we get come to run we have some options to do non-dangerous activities more. Honestly, at the minute I'm feeling like while I edit this video, because I've already got quite a lot of footage, it, it's going to end after this task, but I got quite a lot of footage so I'm guessing I'm going to take a while to edit it. And I'm feeling like I might AFK my melee stats up during that time. Like, literally as high as they'll go. I would aim for, like, base 70s, hopefully, in old melees. Starting by getting the attack up to 60, so I can wield a dragon longsword, which I could then buy from Zanaris. For, like, 100k, but 
That's cool, we got money. We could potentially get them from other means, like Soul Wars crates or zombie pirates, but I don't really want to go and try and farm one somewhere and spend ages doing that when I know I can just buy one and alk the one we get later. It'll still make for a nice training weapon for us. And just, yeah, I'm just gonna AFK the stats up as high as they'll go on crabs, because to be honest, I want to get into Perilous Moons. I feel like there's so many resources available there, which are just fantastic for us. Everything we get in the crate is good. We can use soft clay for crafting, we can use the herbs and the uh, swamp tar. Swamp tar gets us really good herb lore XP. We can use the water orbs to make insane amounts of money without having all the time of running to the altar and making cosmic runes. It cuts two steps out of the three step process. And obviously the item drops are all incredible in their own right. So I definitely want to get on this moon's grind. The sooner the better. So yeah, if by the next time you see me, the, uh, the melee stats are quite a bit higher, that is why. Ooh, we got a Laren's key. Hello. Let's hope that's something juicy. So far they have been disappointing, but I'm still gonna keep getting excited about them until we've had like 20 disappointing ones. It's still the most exciting thing that can drop from most of the wilderness enemies we have. More crabs teleports, never bad. I only had a few of them from previous slay tasks, but I'm pretty sure we can actually buy crabs tellies from Last Man Standing and I've always got an excess of points. Actually, I probably will AFK at Crabs. I'll probably AFK at the Sulfur Nagua. That's better, right? Because I can get Potion Boost for free. Even if I don't have a great weapon to go with it. Like, I don't need a double hitting weapon to AFK there. I can just grab some Monk Robes. I'll be fine. Sulfur Blades would actually be a better DPS than a D-Long, I think. If I start my AFK in there, if we get a pair of Sulfur Blades before we get 60 attack, then we don't need to buy the D-Long. Because the Sulfur Blades would be better DPS anyway with our Defender or a Obby Shield or anything that we can't get hold of. We don't have a lot going for Strength Bonus on this account, honestly. Mixed Hide, maybe, is like one of the only things. Uh, plus some of the Perilous Moons gear as well, obviously. But in terms of defense and strength, not really a great deal going on for us. 29 kills left, I got like 31 that trip, so I should be able to finish the level off on the next trip. We're so close now, folks. Almost there. A hard clue? That is the first one of those we've seen. And it is one that we can do the first step of. That is interesting. I highly doubt we'll be able to finish a hard clue. Not without being able to like farm loads of steps or something. Like there's no shot that the first one we get just randomly works out. I mean there's a fair amount of wilderness steps which are all theoretically doable but there's also a lot of steps just in other places in the map that are completely off limits. There's 49 defense coming in. Any second now. Oh, the end of an absolutely mammoth grind. It has taken me like literal weeks to get this Slayer level. It has been a long, long journey. It's pretty much since we unlocked the wilderness until now. And two whole diaries in that time and finally done my Slayer for now. I keep saying for now, but like for the, for the near future, I'm not planning to pick it up again anytime soon. Oh, what a relief. We got two Laren's keys. We've got a hard clue to pursue. And we've got a city of racist dwarves to finally step into. It's all coming up Millhouse. Okay, I'm guessing this is a puzzle box step. Oh, no. Southeast of the world. Okay, we can do that. And we're actually heading in that direction for the Laren's keys. So I don't mind doing those at the same time. May as well claim our free daily runes while we're here. Wow, body runes. Everybody's favourite. BLP. I can't remember if that's safe or not. I think that might be the enchanted plane, in which case it is. Because it's just through Zanaris. Okay, that's an insanely good drop. The sea turtle's less so, but I'm not going to complain. 194 gold ore is pretty much exactly what I've been begging for. I mean, I wouldn't have minded a couple thousand, to be honest, but I'll take it. Finally, a Laren's key worth something. I suppose the Renar seeds weren't too bad. 
other than that, it's just been another gold ore drop earlier, but that already ran out, so I'm guessing this one won't go too much further. Though that was when I was making jewellery for my main money maker, whereas now I'm making stats on my main money maker, so less gold in general, just gold for the things that I actually need to make for myself. Okay, let's see if we can get this BLP step done. No good way to get to a fairy ring. It's so awkward. Oh, there's not, there's one not far from house. I should use that. Probably be my main teleport to a fairy ring, yes. I need to remember that though, because I keep forgetting where to go for one. There's one like, because we never get an Ardy cape, so we can't do that. We can't make cemetery teleports, can of this. Yeah, it's there. It's not too far of a run from house, right? That's probably the closest one I have at all. Oh shit, no, that's not legal. I'm leaving. Oops, drop that. I thought it was the uh, enchant. That's BKR, isn't it? It's BKR. I think I'm gonna check now. Oops, if this takes me to another place, I shouldn't go. Yeah, that's more Maya. That's the one I'm thinking of. Clearly, I ain't got a fucking clue. So, scrap it. We're off to start Moons of Peril. Remember when we used to kill these guys for fun? Woody has come so far. Excuse me, I've got hiccups. I'm just gonna shut up now. And this is the very last time that Woody has to stare up at these doors without being let inside. Somewhat spoiled once again by my hiccuping. We're in! Yay! I'll probably progress a bit more of this, like, up to the point where you have to do the bosses, just off cam sometime. Because I think that's what makes the dwarf stop being all racist. But we have just unlocked so much stuff. We have a good rune shop for the first time ever. So glad that's finally done. That is going to wrap this one up. Like I said, I'll probably have much higher combat stats by the next time you see me. Hopefully, anyway. And we can maybe start to think about Perilous Moons. I may also do a bit of hunter training. Because I would very much like to get myself some Quetzal feed. So I can make a landing pad to this place. That'll be much more convenient for getting to and from it. So that's kind of on my near goals. So yeah, those are kind of my AFK goals. And until next time, just a notice. I will be pausing the series when Leagues happens for the duration of Leagues, but up until then I'm planning to carry on so there should still be videos coming out in the Wild West for the next few weeks at least until it gets close to Leagues and then I'll be picking up again with it after. So don't worry Wild West isn't going anywhere, it will be going on pause for a while but it will be back after. Thank you for the continued support on the series to those who have been enjoying it, it does really make it so much more worth doing. If you enjoyed this episode of the Wild West, please do make sure to hit that like button. It helps out a ton, just promotes me into the world so more people can find the content that you are enjoying and we can grow this channel even further. And subscribe too if you haven't already so you don't miss any of the future content. I have a huge back catalogue by now and I'm only adding to it more as we go. So stick around to see all of that by hitting the subscribe button. Look after yourselves, be lovely to each other. I'll see you on the next one.